problem says, what are the three longest wavelengths for standing waves on a 240 centimeter long string that is fixed at both ends? And then that's part one. And then part two is if the frequency of the second longest wavelength is 50 hertz, what is the frequency of the third longest wavelength? Okay, so for one, um, we're given that um, our L is equal to 240 centimeters. Um, and so it's asking us to find the three longest wavelengths. So find lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3. And then for 2, um, it's telling us that if F2, so let me back up a second. We're given that F2 is equal to 50 hertz. And we need to find um, the frequency of the third longest. So we need to find F3. OK, so let's start out with a picture. Move this up a bit. So we've got two ends of a string, so we're going to do this. And so um, the longest wavelength, right, is going to be like this, right? And so if this is my L, I know that this is only half a wavelength. So I'm going to say L is equal to lambda over 2. That's going to be lambda 1. That's my... Um, my longest wavelength. So lambda 1 is going to be is equal to 2L. And so that's going to equal 2 times 0 0.24 centimeters. All right. Whoops, multiply. We're going to do that. <laughs> so lambda 1 then is equal to 4.8 meters. Now what about lambda 2, the next one, the next longest wavelength? It's going to look like this. All right, so we've got this is going to be, this distance here is going to be L now. Same L, I guess the lambda is different, so we're going to have L is equal to lambda. So now um, L then is going to equal um, 2.4 centimeters. And the next one, we're going to have this case. So I'm going to say this is going to be the wavelength. We go to there. So now L is equal to 3 halves lambda. And so lambda is going to equal 2 thirds L. And so that means that is going to be, so lambda is going to equal two-thirds, so one-third is going to be 0.8, so 1.6 centimeters. Okay, so I've finished part one, and now part two, let's look back and we'll just check. Part two says, given F2 is equal to 50 hertz, find F3. Okay, so, whoops. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, we're going to, let's see, we know that um, F2 is equal to 50 hertz. So we're going to use this equation. V is equal to F2 lambda 2. Um, and we also know that v, v is equal to F3 lambda 3. Now we know that the velocities are the same because nothing's changed about our um, 
our string. And so that the string is the same. So we're gonna have the same tension, we're gonna have the same mass density, so the velocities are the same. So we can relate these um, equations together. So we're gonna say F2, lambda two, is equal to F3, lambda three. And so now I'm gonna use, I mean, you could use, if you wanted to, the actual values, but I'm just gonna use the equations. I don't need to um, use the values. So I'm gonna say F2 times L, right, is equal to F3 times um, two-thirds L. So now I can cancel out my L's on both sides, and now I see that F3 is equal to three-halves times F2, and so therefore then F3 is equal to three-halves of 50 and so when I multiply that out, I get 3 times 50 is 150 divided by 2. So F3 is equal to 75 hertz.